marvelous party, wasn't it, Daphne? I'm exhausted. Great crowd. Marvelous. Dorothy looked wonderful. I mean, she really looked great. Listen, I don't care what you say. You've got to hand it to her. She doesn't look 43. Even up close. <laughs> she had a little facelift, you know. What's a little facelift? Well, they just take a little tuck in front of each ear. Oh. I mean, it's not a major facelift. It's just a little tuck. Of course, it's still a lift. Well, who needs that kind of vanity? I mean, why can't people be what they are, you know? Of course. Philip looked great. Great suntan. They've been to Bermuda. Darling, that's a sun lamp. Of course you're right. How could they have gone any place? He's been out of work for eight months. Sitting under a sun lamp. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was a big party. Yes, bigger than I'd expected. You know, I was surprised to see Eddie Strand there. I thought he always hated those charity affairs. Well, he has to go because he needs it for a tax write-off. Mm. I thought I'd die when I saw the Smiths tooling up in that Rolls. Their station wagon was repossessed two months ago. A Rolls and a chauffeur. Oh, he's not really a chauffeur. That's a foreign exchange student from Ceylon. He boards with them. I guess pretense means a lot to some people. Like the Fetchmores. You know, Poot Reese said they were going to build an indoor-outdoor swimming pool. Oh, Lord knows where they'll get the money. They already owe all the tradespeople. Well, now they'll owe the pool people. <laughs> <laughs> Darling? You know, if I hear Pang and Z.G. Turner talk about someplace they've been for a weekend again, I'm going to throw up. I guess he forgets that we know he used to work for the airlines before his second marriage, and he's got a pass. I mean, who wouldn't want to go to Africa for the weekend if you could get there for $15? <laughs> who do they think they're oppressing? I hate that sort of thing. It's so inauthentic. It's incredible the way some people behave, you know? Did you get a chance to talk to Freddie and Mae Hudson? No, they were so busy snowing his new boss. <laughs> Freddie told me that they'd gotten a new Picasso and a Jackson Pollock. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Darling, they can rent those by the month. Lots of people do it. Really? Of course. I noticed you were talking to Hans Bremack before we left. I didn't get a chance to. What's he doing? Is Hans a Phi Beta Kappa? I doubt it. Well, he was wearing a Phi Beta Kappa key. Probably borrowed it. Can you beat that? Probably figured nobody'd know, but did you see anybody give him the fraternity high sign or handshake? Oh, what a fake. <laughs> I don't understand them. Who, darling? I don't understand any of them. All a bunch of phonies. Oh, Bo, we are so lucky. You're right, Dad. Wouldn't it be awful if we needed phonies like all of them? But we don't need anybody, Daph. Like you said, we're lucky. We got us. But what gets me, what, what really gets me is why the devil people are so afraid of just being themselves. Know what I mean? Buzz, I always knew you were cheap, but when you said let's have a drink to celebrate our wedding anniversary. <laughs>